Before we get started with Bitcoin price action, I want to let you all know I'm sending you love and light. These market conditions are absolutely brutal and a lot of people were very, very negatively impacted. I also want to let you know it is going to be okay. It might not be okay and silly, but it will be okay. And finally, no action is action. That simply means not buying the dip, not dollar costing average in, not shorting, not longing, not doing anything. If you're feeling any type of emotions or uncertainty or you're not comfortable, you do not have to do anything at this time. With that being said, let's go ahead and cover Bitcoin because she broke my area of $29,000 support. This is the Bitcoin weekly chart and we currently tapped on 26,514 support and we broke below my $29,000 support, which I was gonna call a bear market then. And again, I do believe that the Terra Luna UST thing is a complete black swan event that is causing the entire market to crash like this. And yes, this is a crash. We're coming up on our seventh red candle on the weekly and I look back at price action and I've never seen this happen before. Personally, I would love to see Bitcoin consolidate around $29,000 to $32,000, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. And personally, I'm not taking any of these trades. The only thing I'm doing, I have a limit order set all the way down to $20,000. This candle on the daily is telling me there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. There's now a lot of FUD going on with Tether. Same with the 12-hour chart. But on the six hour chart, we can start to see a bit of a bounce, which is good. However, I have no idea if it's going to sustain or not. And taking a look at market cipher over here, it looks like we have a nice upward tip. But I did want to show you the CME gap chart. Generally, these gaps get filled and this is the daily chart. Right here between 26.5 and 24.5, we have a very, very big gap. And generally, these gaps get filled. We also have another gap over here at 19.3 and 18.3. I don't know if we're gonna get that low yet, but I still would not rule it out. And the gap at 26.5 and 24.5 has not been filled yet. We just have a wick down there. Overall for today, I'm gonna to be covering the news, but I'm not really gonna be doing anything besides moving funds. At this point, a lot of my moon bags are completely wrecked and any positions I did have that I didn't take profit on, I'm considering that money bye-bye. But I am still moving funds around and trying to kind of salvage some of my positions. Again, if you're not comfortable doing it, don't do it. Do what works for you. Have a trading and investing plan, a bullish scenario and a bear scenario. Either way, I am sending you love and light and we will get through this. There's gonna be a big bumpy road ahead.